So this video is a continuation from yesterday's. This time we are testing it out in Ableton Live. This is the Windows version of Quark Composer. So thank you again to Intuitive Audio for being very involved with the community here over here at Traptendo, and I really do appreciate that. So you guys, if you have any suggestions, please, you know, let leave a comment below and, you know, it will really help out. If you want to test this out, of course, you can. The link will be in the description box and click on this right here and it will take you to the download for Windows so you can test out the trials and give helpful feedback. It will really help, guys. So thank you again. And also, you know, if you don't know how to set stuff up, of course, they have information for you. I will also have that link in the description box so it can be helpful to you because it does not uh, put out output sound on its own. Uh, also, if you are one of those guys that like to complain that I'm doing stuff in Ableton, I already got your back, guys. I've done it already in FL Studio. It's already on the channel. Check it out. Thank you so much again. And let's go ahead and begin here. So it is a chord generator. It is also a chord player, and it is a pattern generator and a progression stacker, all of which I will show you the best way I can to what you can do with it. Uh, starting off with the basics here in the chord generator tab, uh, you can set your key. So if you don't want to do a C, you can set it to a C sharp or D and et cetera, et cetera. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and start with a C sharp. I mean, C. Ooh. And you also can set the different scale or mode <clears throat> by, for either major, minor, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Alien, and Lacrian. I think I said it right. Lacrian. Damn it, if I didn't, comment section, kill me. It's all good. I know I love you guys too. Anyways, uh, you can set that. You can set either if you want it to be fifth chords, you know, three chords, or default, sevenths, four, ninths, elevenths, and thirteenths. So you have that control as well, as well as the inversions where you can do a root inversion, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And you also can set the extra rhythms or rest and like how it will express. Uh, you also can set the octave as well. So let's go ahead and just, you know, let's play with a little bit of stuff here and create a chord. Now let's hear it. Piano for the people that complained yesterday. So there you go. You get you got somewhere to start from right there, in which you have more options as well. Uh, also, I would like to show you that it is vectoral, so you can stretch it. If you don't, if it's too big for you, then you can make it small. I am blind and old, you know that is the joke here. But I am I can't really see that well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can stretch it out, and you can see where you know you can draw stuff out on the piano roll here. Uh, anyways there, uh, you also can drag and drop stuff, of course. You can drag and drop it, and let's go ahead and hear that. It will probably play the progression over that piano. There you go. So, there we go. That was the sound here. Uh, the link will be in the description box if you like that sound of what pack that's in. <clears throat> So there are other things that you can do with your progressions, of course, and I am going to uh, delete that one. And here we go. So all you have to do is click on whatever chord that you want to access here. And you can also change like which chords on the fly by these notes. As you can see, it adjusts itself to a G3 and an A3 now. And let's hear this, this right here. So yeah, it's, it's, it works pretty well so far in Ableton. It's basically the same stuff that I did yesterday that's working well now. So you can also change it this way as well. You know, whatever type of action you want to do. And then you would just go and swap it. Boop. And if you don't like that, hit default, or you can hit the undo button. So you have that. So also you have other helpful tools here. If you can delete delete stuff, 
you can clear everything if you are one of those people that don't like don't like what you get up top and you know you can undo and you can select all the stuff here now here's where some other cool stuff come in because you can adjust the velocity uh it doesn't necessarily have to be nice uh so sterile i guess and speaking of sterile you also can constructively or destructively uh re move notes as you can see you can move the whole everything at once here i'm gonna undo that <clears throat> and deselect everything and just mess with like one note all right two you also can humanize as well you can just adjust at, at your own free will so let's go ahead and hear that I do apologize if the sound sounds a little weird this time around. I am using OBS instead of XSplit, and I'm also using my podcast mic in front of in front of me right now. So you know, bear with me on that. Uh, anyways, you can choose the way you want to quantize. Of course, as you can see here, <clears throat> I'm moving stuff from 132 to one and one to one sixteenth. You also can choose the amount of bars you want. So maybe you don't want to use a eight bar uh, loop or anything like that. You can set it as low as a four bars to all the way up to 16 bars. So I'm not gonna go all the way up to 16 bars, but you know, just be, just know that you can do that. Uh, there are also other parts where you can check, uh, change different chord options here. And you know, you can change them on the, on your own free will here. I'm gonna go. And you know, you can get some really rich, enriching uh, melodies here from your own free will here. Uh, hit the save button, and let's hear what we got. So as you can see, it changed that fourth one into a F3 suspended too. So yeah, you can adjust things any way you want. Of course, the quick pattern generator is where a lot of stuff gets very interesting, uh, as you can just set things at your own free will in here. And you can randomize, of course, and you can remix things on the fly. So if you really wanted a second melody and you wanted to drag it over, like per se, to that Electra uh, channel, you can. Uh, you also can change it a whole lot by going into your different patterns here. So once you do that, boom. Of course, that's not as sexy as like something like, hmm, like this right here. Damn. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just slide that over and I wanna hear that uh not on a damn not on the piano but on the synth sound. So let's let's hear it on the synth sound real quick with the piano playing in the background. Uh let's see here. Will probably help if I go into session mode here and uh play it. I'm gonna save that because I that look, damn. so I'm really impressed with this as you can see and the more I play with it the more I love I fall with core composer on opposed to uh, other music theory uh, plugins which are still good but core composer caught my eye because of other things and those other things was this right here the core player so I'm, what I'm gonna do here is I am going to Make myself a little larger here for proof of uh, a proof of whatever of me playing, uh, and of course you will have to have the core play, uh, playing option on. So make sure that you turn it on, and let's see what you get when I press one note. Keep on my keyboard. So yeah, you can. lean on me but anyways what else uh, can you do with this well if i was to clear everything which i really don't want to do but i'm fine with that i'm just gonna go ahead and do that just for testing purposes uh you can also record but however the record thing uh in ableton you will just have to press the record button get your count in Of 
course, uh, one of the things that I want to point out is that I actually had to learn about this recording feature is that if you have it maybe set to like four bars or something like that, you want to set it maybe perhaps to like like eight bars. And then once you record, oops, I, I recorded in my um <laughs> the clip there. Uh, no, I'm going to clear that and we're going to do record again. Well, I, I like to use my count in, but you can, you always can set your count in on, uh, in your metronome, but I'm going to go ahead and just use this again. Uh, you got to stop it a little prematurely than you would. Uh, like if he was recording like in Ableton, that's the only thing. That's the same thing with like FL Studio as well. You have to stop a pre, uh, uh, pre whatever. Anyway, so <laughs> you just select keep or whatnot. I guess you can select all and then you can, I'm going to see if you can drag all this stuff over. Let me go ahead. And... Hmm, that works out. Yes, you can. So you can drag stuff over as well, you know, and just fixate it. So if it, if this basically, let me show you again. I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down. Uh, so basically, recording this, when you record stuff in, uh, you can drag, uh, select, like, if you press all, then you can drag your stuff over just like any other piano roll. Let me go ahead and just show again. Uh, So there you go. There you have it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and undo a gajillion times here. <coughs> there we go. Now I got my original progression that I had before so I can work with it. Uh, so I like that old progression here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that clip that I just uh, did that recorded. And I am going to go over to pattern generator because that's another thing that I really like. Boom. So I'm turn that off. And the pattern generator, it does like his name says, it generates patterns uh, according to your course here. So you can do as much as possible. Uh, so, you know, if you want to test things out and if you want to change velocities in these uh, areas here, you can. Selecting stuff and playing with it as I go. And you set the chord imps, of course. And, you know, change the, uh, human, the humanizing here. I'm going to go and not have things to sound very st stale. Wonder if I'm going to see. I'm going to try out control A. I don't think that is official. Uh, shoot. It's not an official shortcut for that, I, I presume. But I'm going to go ahead and select all. Okay. So I am filling here. I'm just testing stuff out. Of course, again, this is a beta. Uh, but I'm just trying to see if I can highlight stuff and highlight but yeah you can change like different rhythms and stuff as you can see is just flipping through stuff right now nice so you can again you can affect the different patterns as, as you go of course you can do as much as possible humanly possible here as you can see, you can adjust within these patterns as I'm, I'm as I'm learning this on the fly. I'm diving deeper today than I did yesterday. Uh, but yeah, you set up your rest and then set up your velocities it, just in case you don't want the velocities to be too hard. And no, I'm not gonna reset that. And let's go ahead and hit uh, create pattern. And we got some interesting stuff. Hmm, that was weird and cool at the same time. Uh, not much. Uh, of course, you know, all the other stuff that you did that, that applied from the core generator settings still work. So, you know, you can change stuff.
know, maybe you want to delete this. Of course, you can delete that. Boom. Oops. I'm going to undo that. You got I I have to keep in mind that, you know, when you do uh, click on this, you do highlight it. So, you know, you can highlight more than one that way. So you got got to be real careful here. So I'm going to go ahead and my, my initial. Yeah, there we go. Delete. Play. So yeah, you got some pretty good stuff here. And then now you got the progression stacker here. Uh, one of the things I wanted to test out here is uh, click the copy, copy media. E. And I'm still not understanding. <laughs> I, they explained it to me earlier today, and I don't know why in earth did I not just pretend that uh, copy mode is on. Okay, I did it. So basically what you do is you click on this uh, right here. It, it, is, it says copy, copy, copying, and it will copy it over. So basically copy, and then you keep your mouse over it, and it says click to copy, copying. And when it says copying, that's when it copies over. Okay. And, but one of the things I do like about this is if per se, you know, you want to work on a different progression here, you know, you just rename your progression, whatever you want, you know, I'm a <laughs> Cree and now I'm working on Cree, I guess. And you no, know, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah. See, I'm on Cree. It says it right here. And, you know, I can perhaps maybe I want to uh, flip some stuff all the way out. And now I got this. Yeah. And then I can just go right back to the progression. Uh, desirable progression that I want. I had before. And then I'm select progression one. And then I can, you know, maybe flip that around. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go half a bar, maybe y'all beat. And you can change that uh, the way you want there. And yeah, there's also presets as well. I don't know, I never really talk about presets that often, but there are presets and they're being developed uh, right now. So you can just uh, develop presets. Perhaps Intuitive Audio will reach out to you if you got some really dope stuff. And you know, you can just select whatever. Yeah, so you got that nice little rhythm over there. And of course, you know, you just do whatever you want. <clears throat> Uh, so just let me know what you think about this so far. The Ableton test was very good. I didn't get any r weird errors or any crashes or anything like that. Um, it just works very fine. You know, I mistakenly installed it wrong the first time. And, you know, that was my fault because I was rushing. I was so excited to use this. And, you know, I think you guys should be very excited about it, too. Uh, what are things that you will want to implement in Core Composer to make this even better? I know... One thing for sure, for sure that I want is a Pidgeo option. Maybe to do some ARPs. Uh, of course, you could just delete stuff on the fly in here. As you can see, <laughs> dang, that's crazy. I am just so impressed with this. Oops, let's see. Well, I'm, I'm, I want to press Control Z so bad. It's because I'm so used to using piano shortcuts, piano roll shortcuts within this. Uh, but maybe, you know, strumming. Apicios. Let, let's see. I'm gonna try that again. Let's see. See if I can delete those two. Nope. Dang. Whoa. That was crazy. <laughs> what I just did. But anyways, yeah, just let me know. Uh I'm very uh curious to hear what you guys say because a lot of people have their things. And then we'll talk about maybe comparing this beta to already released software that does the exact same thing so let me know what you guys think again thank you intuitive audio and to my audience